You really think the problem is another woman? Clark cares about her. Or at least that's what he said. I mean, when did he meet her? I know he was attracted to me when we first met. It was all I could do to keep him from jumping all over me. When did everything change? Honey, I don't have any answers for those questions. I just wish I knew what to do. I wish Dad would go ahead with those designs. What designs? Remember I told you I wanted Dad to take a look at some of Clark's work? Yes, and he wasn't interested because Clark works for Spectra. Exactly. So I came up with this plan. I showed Dad some design ideas I had for the summer line. Only one of them was Clark's. You, you passed off one of Clark's designs as one of your designs? And Dad loved him. He thought it was terrific. He even said he'd think about putting it into production, along with one of mine. Has he done that? Well, not so far. I just wish he'd go ahead. It would mean everything to Clark's in my relationship. Or at least it would keep it alive until I could figure out some way to outfox the competition. Whether he's so talented, he has original ideas. If Dad would just get over this thing he has with Spectra fashion. Honey, I don't think this is going to happen. Spectra has just ripped off and pirated too many of our designs. I don't think your father's ever going to look favorably on anybody from that company. I know. I know. So what do I do? I mean, I don't want to lose this man, Mother. I can see that. Well, I guess the only thing to do is to go to Dad. I mean, what more do I have to lose? Thanks for listening. I wish I could have helped. That's okay. I'm just glad we're talking again. Well, I better be getting back to the office. Thanks. Mother? You won't say anything about this to Dad. No, of course not. Thanks. Bye. What is it? What's going on with you? Those designs are good. I know it's not that. Margot, please. No, I'm not leaving. Obviously, you have something on your mind. You haven't been yourself all day. All right. All right. You're right. The designs for Mrs. Linquist were perfectly fine. Although I did mean it. What I said about the pink, I think we could try to find something a little more vibrant. You've got it. And now, will you tell me what is eating at you? A friend of mine, a very dear friend, he is undergoing cancer surgery today. Ah, oh, Eric, I'm sorry. I had no idea. Is it anyone that I know? No. I was told that I would hear as soon as there was some kind of word. Well, it's not that late. The surgery was early this morning. They should know something by now. Eric, I'm sure you're going to hear soon. Now, would it help if I took over that Linquist showing? You really don't have to be there. Yes. Thank you. I'll get in if I can, but uh, it'll be an enormous load off my mind. Well, you consider it dumb. I wonder what's happened to Kristen. It's not like her to miss a meeting. I know. Something must have come up, but she usually lets me know. You tell her to come in here as soon as she arrives, all right? Will do. And thank you, Margot. I'm sorry I was such a bear. It's all right. 
I can take just about anything if I know where it's coming from. Well, I'd better get down to the fabric shop if we're going to have that suit ready for Mrs. Lindquist by this afternoon. Eric, I, I hope the news is good about your friend. Thank you. Why don't I hear something about you, Beth? Hi. Hi, where have you been? You know, your father expected you to be at the dry run of the Linguist showing. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. Was he awfully mad? Well, he wasn't thrilled. Actually, though, I, I don't think it was you who was getting to him. Apparently, a good friend of his went in for cancer surgery today. A friend of Dad's? Funny, Mother didn't say anything about it. That's where I just was. I stopped by the house to get some advice. From your mother? <sighs> What's going on with you two these days? I don't know, but it's kind of nice. For the first time since I was a little girl, I feel like I can confide in my mother. Not that it's doing much good. Still Clark, huh? I can't let go of him, Margo. I know we could be good together. I just can't figure out who this other woman is. Well, whoever can. But I'm warning you, it's poison. Falling for someone who is involved with someone else. <sighs> Kristen, that's the fastest road I know to heartbreak. I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I just thought this time would be different. Sounds like there's a story there. I'll tell you about it someday. When it stops hurting. So why don't you look me up in around 40 years? Well, meanwhile, I think that you should stop by and see your father and mend a few fences. Thanks, Margo. You may not know this, but you're very good for me. Goes both ways, kiddo. Thanks. Is this really you? I feel like I'm going crazy. Liz Henderson is really Mrs. Logan. It's just too incredible. But there's such a strong resemblance. I've got to be certain. I've got to prove this to myself. There can't be any doubt. I absolutely have to know the truth. Dad, I'm sorry I wasn't here to go over the Linquist showing with you and Margot. Where were you? I had to go out. I didn't think it would take so long. I'm going to tell you something, Kristen. When it comes to business, particularly Forrester business, sorry just doesn't cut it! I would never put up with that kind of irresponsibility from either one of your brothers. Kristen, wait. I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. I've, I've been under a great deal of strain for the past few days. I never should have taken it out on you. If I'd known my being here was so important. Sweetheart, it has... It has nothing to do with the link for showing. Margo said you have a friend in the hospital. Yes, and that's why I've been very worried. That's why I lashed out at you. Honey, believe me, I, I, I would never, I would never hurt you this way. It's okay. I understand. Let me make it up to you. 
Maybe you can. Could you put those two designs I brought by into production? Why do I get the feeling I'm being manipulated here? Well, you said yourself they're good. They are. They're very good. Well, then. All right. I'll call production. Now? I'll tell Margaret to get on it first thing. Thanks, Dad. I promise you, you won't be sorry. I'm already sorry. Now get out of my office before I change my mind. You're the best. Yes, come in. What am I doing here? I don't even know what I'm looking for. No, I've got to prove this to myself. One way or another, I've got to know for sure. If you're looking for Mrs. Logan, she's still in recovery. She won't be back for several hours yet. Oh, I see. Uh, would it be all right if I just sat in here and waited a little while? Of course. I don't even know where to begin. Is Anderson. My God, it is her. Mrs. Logan and Liz Anderson are the same person. But that doesn't mean it's the same woman that Eric's involved with. No, there has to be more. To mother, the heart of our family. Get well soon and come home. We love you. Storm and Brooke. The girls at the catering company. his handwriting all these years I don't believe it it's Beth Logan What a surprise. I thought you were mad at me. Mad at you? The other night. Right. We can talk about that later. Right now, I have some terrific news. 